Hey guys, look at this video here, and I'm going to be showing you how to take apart your Xbox 360 controller. Okay, so what you'll need is, this is all you'll need is a torque head screwdriver with a security hole. And why it needs a security hole is, if you look at your screws, they have a metal spike coming up. And you'll need to use this to get in there. But, if you just have a regular torque head, don't feel like going to buy one with a security hole, you can, um break the screw down in the middle using a regular screwdriver like a Phillips head and then just unscrew with that alright so um also what you'll need to do is remove this barcode to get another screw under there alright so I'm gonna start unscrewing these Alright, that's the third one. Now we get four more. One last one. Down. All right. So now you got your screws out. You don't want to take it apart like this because all these ones will fall out, being a big mess. You want to lift it up using this part. Might have to push the triggers in. All right. So that just pops off. Now you got your circuit board, just lift that up. And you notice how my Xbox controller is so dirty, look at that, look at all that dirt. This is a really old Xbox controller. Alright, so, just want to pull this out. Could take some muscles, depending on how old your controller is. And this one is pretty old, so you can easily take out that part if you would like. Alright, and then it just pops out. And then you got this, take that out. And if you really want to strip it bare, then um take this out. And all you'll need you only need to do this if you're gonna paint. You don't have to do that if you're just modding your controller. And then take that off and keep all the buttons in your hands. Alright, now take up the D-pad. You don't have to do it unless you're painting your controller. What's like I said before, there's two can, there's two screws right there, and then there's two things you have to pop out. This will come out, and then the D-pod will fall out. Um, I don't have a screwdriver small enough to do that, so I'm just not going to do it. Alright, so here comes the hard part, taking this off, taking the triggers off. Now there's metal, metal, I mean plastic rod right here that goes up and down, if you can see that. And then there's the trigger. And then they're connected with a little spike, so you just want to push on the metal rod the other way and then push the trigger the other way and it should just pop down like that really easy zoom in alright and then with this there's plastic part right there plastic part right there you have to push on both of them and then just push oops, and then just push the xbox trigger forward should pop out like that. Now watch, taking this off because there's a spring in there, and you can easily fly. Scroll off my desk. All right, so 
once again you push on this that way and then you push that way on the trigger so just like that real easy need some elbow grease all right it'll pop down and then a little out of control there but you just push on the two metal things and push and then just wiggle it off all right now I recommend taking this stuff off. Now, you don't need to, but I recommend it because the wires are pretty small. You could easily rip. So yeah, take that off. And then some thunder going on. Take this off. Something I forgot to mention. Working with the circuit board, probably already know this. You need to touch the metal before working with the circuit board. You could break it. Uh, phew, I can't get this. Mm. Gotta pinch it both ways and just pull to get this thing out, but I don't know if something's like not coming out. Hmm. It's really weird. Use the other hand here. Just gotta wiggle it a little bit. Oh there it goes. Oh. Alright. So if you want to take the triggers out, you're welcome to. We're gonna paint the triggers, you just yank them, and they'll come out. Okay, that was a look at this videos. Um, check out my next video on how to put it back together.